Hey everybody, this is Anthony from Into the Dark Room, and this video is going to show you how to quickly get a few pages up and running in your website. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do that pretty quickly. And so we're in the back end of our website, and we are going to click on the Content tab. And the Content tab is where we're going to set up all of our pages. And once we set up our pages, we're going to create some navigation buttons that actually link to our pages. So let's go ahead and set up our first basic page, and we'll go ahead and click New here. And we're going to set up an info page because we want to make, a, let's say, like a bi biography page. So I'm going to title it About Me. And I'm going to go ahead and click uh, Create Page. And then I'm going to come over to my page list here and click on the page that I just created. And I'm going to start adding images and, and content to it. So I'm going to go ahead and click Upload at the bottom of my Image tab. And I'm going to Add Files for my computer. I'm going to pick an image and I'm going to click open and that image is already cropped and ready to go the way I want it saved web ready and when the green icon loads I'm gonna go ahead and click done because I know it's done uploading and then I'm gonna go ahead and come to my settings tab and I'm going to paste in some text here that I already have written about myself and we're not gonna set up a watermark for this demo so I'm gonna mark that as false and I can have it show captions if I want um, and I can show you what that is in a moment and then um, I can decide where the image placement on the page is. Is it on the right or is it on the left? And I'm going to leave it on the right for now. So now that I save it, I'm going to go back to my image list and I'm going to show you really quick uh, some options with your images. So if I click on the image and I click edit, um, I can title it and I can write, you know, a brief description. Uh, this is a picture of me and so on and so forth and that kind of information is great for search engine optimization so if you want to optimize all of your images you can go ahead and do that that information right there um, can be displayed if you show image captions uh, for this I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off so I want to create a, a portfolio page and I'm gonna come down here on the left tab uh, left panel and I'm gonna click new and I'm going to make it an album page and I'm gonna title it portfolio and I'm going to click uh, create page and I'm going to now click on the page that I created to add images to it so here's the image list tab and I'm gonna click upload and I'm going to choose files that I've already have ready on my computer uh, they're all saved and cropped the way I want them to be and you're gonna see that they're adding here and when they're done I'm gonna go ahead and click done and they'll all be added in the list here now you can scroll down and see your images and if you wanted to sort these images you can click this sort button down here and you can either organize them from numerically alphabetically from Z to A or A to Z or you can go ahead and just start grabbing them and dragging them around and moving them into the place that you want so there's a couple different ways to sort them but you do have a sorting mechanism in here you can click on an image and um, and hold the shift down and then move a handful at a time. Uh, if you so, if you have a lot of images in there, it makes it a little bit easier to move uh, a bulk load of images. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save, and all my images will be reorganized here. And if I want to, I can upload an MP3 here in the Tracks tab. I can upload, you know, numerous MP3s, and they'll just play through. And then I have a Settings tab here that allows me to um, use the watermark if I have that set up. Um, I can show captions again and I can auto start the slideshow. So I'm going to show captions and auto start the slideshow and click save and I'm going to come back to my image list and we're going to kind of do what we were doing with the other image where I'm going to click on an image, I'm going to click edit and I'm going to um, start typing in the title and text for each image and that's going to be great for SEO. So these images are actually done by Jay Riley so let's give him some credit here, Jay Riley and I'm going to say um, a photo uh, a photo shoot for jet set models uh, in California and maybe those are some of the keywords that I want to get in there and I want to write something maybe different for each photo so that it's not redundant um, and I can click save changes here and you'll see that that information changed and again that's going to be great for search engine optimization so I have two pages two of my basic pages set up here and I'm going to come up to this tab which is the contact tab and I'm going to click it and I'm going to fill this out so I'm going to give it a title like contact me and I'm going to paste you know my hours of operation um, or whatever you want to write in there to be on that page and then I'm going to add my email address and I'm going to add uh, my name and I am going to leave this area down here 
blank. This is the server email. Now, most emails don't have a, a different server email, but if you have Yahoo or um, some obscure email, they might ask you for that, so we put it in there, but 99% of you are not going to be using that, so just go ahead and skip it unless you know different. I'm going to go ahead and click Save, and now I have my contact page set up as well as my other two pages. So I'm going to come to my sitemap area, which is where we make navigations, and I'm going to click New, and we're going to create a new navigation button, and this first one's going to be called About, and I'm going to link to a page that I created, and here is the list of pages. I'm going to click About, and I'm going to um, go ahead and say open in the same window. I'm going to leave that the way it is, but if I was linking out to a blog, I could change this down to open in a new window, and that would spawn a new browser window. But we want it to open in the same window because we don't want new windows to open up all the time every time you click on a navigation button. So I'm going to click Save, and you can see that the About button is here. I'm going to go ahead and create a uh, portfolio pay, uh, button, and I'm going to link it to my portfolio page and I'm going to leave it as open in the same window and click save and I'm going to go ahead and create a contact button and I'm going to link it to a page I created contact page click save and now I have all of my buttons so basically the website is set up I need to get a logo in here so I click the design tab and on the, in the settings tab I'm going to go ahead and under site logo click upload new and I'm going to grab a logo that I already have cropped to open it up and this is a transparent ping. Um, if you have a white background and your logo has a white background, you're fine. But if you're like me and you like to play around with the colors in the background, uh, it's nice to make a transparent ping for your logo. And so I did that here, and I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And for the most part, we have a site that's functional. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the dashboard, and there is a Preview Site button here where if I click it, it will now take me to my site. And you're going to see when the site loads that I have a logo in the top left corner. I have my about me title, text, and image. I have my portfolio page up here. And I have all my images in here. And if you if you look at the first image where we added a description, on rollover you can see the description that we added. And the other ones don't have it, so that it doesn't show when you roll over. And then I have my contact page. <coughs> and the contact page has my title, my information, and I can go ahead and fill this out and send it in with a message. So uh, that's basically it. We just went ahead and set up the basics of a website and that was a video to kind of give you a, a quick start, jump start on getting your site up and running. There's uh, more options that you can play around with and, and we're going to be creating some more videos for you to take a look at. I hope that was informative and that kind of helps you get going on creating pages and getting your site up as fast as possible. Thanks for watching.